What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today we got another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. I made a video right around the launch of the S23 Ultra about the best apps for your Galaxy device that went over some key apps from GoodLock that I use all the time. People really enjoyed that video, so I decided to make a follow-up video. This one's also going to include some additional apps that people ask me about all the time that I'm using on my channel, in addition to some of the other GoodLock modules that I didn't get to fully cover, so strap in, it's gonna be very exciting. Also, if you guys are interested in helping me review some apps, and actually get paid to do it, I started a program over on my website where you guys can sign up, my subscribers, my Twitter followers, to help me review apps that I'm going to be having on the channel. And uh, I'll actually be paying you guys, you can see between $25 and $100, depending on the budget for that particular app. It helps me crowdsource some reviews and also improve the quality of the content on my channel. All you have to do is sign up on my website at this form, put in your name, your email. You do have to live in the US right now because of financial reasons. Um, I'm going to try to figure it out for international in the future. It's just complicated because of tax things and like that. Having to pay people money requires me to do some tax stuff. So I have to be careful with that. But uh, if you're interested and you're in the U.S., feel free to sign up. The link will be in the uh, description also in the pinned comment. So let's go ahead and take a look. Today I want to talk about these seven apps. As usual, I have a little Google Keep document with them right here. The first one is one that I get asked about all the time. And I actually covered this in a full video. So I'll drop the full video below that I did on this application. But uh, it's about the widget that I use here on my home screen. And that is the 1.4 KWGT Reloaded Widgets. It's actually a two for one. The first thing you need to install the 1.4 KWGT Reloaded Widget is the KWGT Custom Widget Pro Key and the Custom Widget app itself. Now I'll link all these below so you guys can check them out and download them. But there is a standalone app and then there's the Pro Key. I think it's $3.99, I believe, usually when it's not on sale. I bought this app a long time ago. So you need both the Pro Key and then you also need the app itself, which is just KWGT Custom Widget Maker. Once you install both of those, you can then install a number of custom widgets. And if you actually take a look uh, at my previous video where I went over how I do this using KWGT, you can see a full tutorial. You can build your own custom widgets or you can buy some packs from the Play Store, which is what I do and what I have right now on my home screen. I'll show you which one I use. Also, if you do have Google Play Pass, which I have, you pay $4.99 a month and you get access to a bunch of different apps and games, this one is included in Play Pass, so then you wouldn't have to pay that additional cost to buy the app. So in some sense, it's, it's really nice to have Play Pass. I use a lot of apps that are in there, so for me, it's worth the value. Definitely recommend checking that out if you don't know about it. So once you download KWGT, the other app that I use to actually get this widget is called 1.4 KWGT reloaded. So if you search for 1.4 KWGT, the very top option right here is the 1.4 KWGT reloaded pack. And this is the one that has the widget that I'm currently running in it. So if you actually tap on this, once you create your widget, you can go and get the time, all kinds of nice stuff, right? You can get, you can change this so to get your weather information, all of that. You guys can see this is a four by two KWGT widget. Uh, you can, once you get the app itself, you can go in and edit all of your widgets, things like that. You can see here, the one I have right now is a W007 from the 1.4 KWGT Reloaded Pack. Also a bunch of the icon packs I use from 1.4 KWGT Studios, who also makes my icon packs, they come with KWGT widgets as well, like Aries, Lena. But here's the uh, KWGT Reloaded Pack. You can see some of the awesome widgets that are in here including the one that I'm using on my home screen, uh, which was the one you just saw, W007. So if you're interested in getting the widgets, the look that I have here on my home screen, I know a lot of people asked about this weather date time widget. Uh, check that out, 1.4 KWGT Reloaded, and also the KWGT app itself. So that's the first two. The next one is also an app that I covered in a standalone video, but I know a lot of people probably missed it, and that is the application called Widgetify. So let's actually find it here in the Play Store so I can show you where it is. Again, the link will be below. This is Widgetify. The uh, developer is Binary Smith. Uh, it is an ad-supported app and there is no paid version to remove the apps, um, sorry, the ads. But what this does allow you to do is it allows you to take any web page on the internet and turn it into a fully functioning widget where it will refresh. It'll refresh in custom intervals if you want. You can refresh it at a certain time each day. You can choose it to monitor web pages so that if something on the web page changes by a certain percentage, it'll automatically send you a notification on your phone. It's a really cool app and I made a full video on it. So again, I'll link it below if you wanna see, but this is how I'm kind of using it. I check, you know, Droid Life for instance, every day. 
And so I have it set to refresh Droid Life in intervals throughout the day, two hour intervals, so I can see the latest Android stories. I do the same thing with Sam Mobile and a couple of other blogs. And you can basically put as many widgets as you want of different sizes. You add it just like a standard widget. You long press on the home screen, scroll down, find Widgetify, and then right there you can add them. You see you basically got a full page widget. And then there's also a two by two widgets. Uh, those are the two default options. So a very cool app and one that I've been using quite a bit on my device. Uh, I recently found this one. That's why I made the full video on it again. So if you want the tutorial, that'll be below as well. The next one is a brand new wallpaper app from my favorite designer. Um, I mentioned the guy so much on this channel, you would think that the videos are sponsored by him. And that's a uh, one for uh, studio he makes some great stuff. The widget I showed you is from him. And this wallpaper is also from him. He just released a brand new app with all of his wallpapers in it called one for walls. So if we search this, go to one for walls. This is the app right here. It's basically got all of his different uh, app wallpaper packs in it in single app. Now you might be able to find some of these cheaper over on his Gumroad page, which I'll link below as well. They may be a little cheaper than the app. I don't know actually, You'll, I have to look. But anyway, the app itself is amazing and well designed. So I wanted to show it off. It's what I've been using for the majority of my wallpapers, including the one that I'm using on the home screen today, which is called Space 100. He's got a bunch of amazing icon, you know, different wallpaper packs in here and also a bunch of icon packs on the Play Store as well. I'm also using his icon pack, which is Aries Black. Um, of course, there's a paid version here where you get a bunch of extra packs, but there's a ton of free wallpapers in here and uh, really one of my favorite designers in terms of wallpapers and icon packs. And I highly recommend checking this out if you love cool new wallpapers. Um, the next one is a set of three good lock modules that I didn't talk about in the first video. So if you watched the first video, I went over several good lock modules, but I didn't cover all the good lock modules. So I wanted to circle back and cover three that I think are really, really useful. I also talk about them a lot on the channel. I cover updates where these things get updates. And uh, the first one is Registar. So what Registar does is it allows you to do a couple of things. The most important thing it allows you to do is add additional functionality to your phone by tapping the back of it by triggering a certain action. So what I have is if I tap the back of my phone twice, it activates Google Assistant. That allows me to easily trigger my assistant and then also keep my side button open for other things. Now you can also remap the side key press action, but I like to have the power menu here for the long press of the side key, so I don't turn that option on. But the other thing this also allows you to do is it lets you see your settings change history, and it also lets you see a way to customize your menu settings so that if you wanna put your most frequently used menu options in the main settings menu at the top, you don't have to have them in the default order that Samsung has. You can move these around. Like if you edit your wallpaper a lot, you can move it to the very top. So it's very simple for you to reach. A very useful good lock module. It's a fairly new one that came out last year, but Samsung is definitely trying to give us more useful options. The next one is Lockstar. Now Lockstar is pretty, you know, it's a pretty self-explanatory app in that it does exactly what it sounds like. Let me go back in here. Lockstar allows you to additionally customize your lock screen and you're always on display. One thing I love about it is you can position where all the icons and information are on your lock screen and that makes it really nice because you can customize the layout you want. Now, of course, you can also use it to customize your wallpaper, but that functionality is already built into One UI 5.1 with a long press. The main functionality for Lockstar is to decide if you want to show your icons, where they should be, where the clock should be positioned, where your widget you know, for music should be. You can change where that's positioned on the screen if you don't like the positioning. You can choose if you want to show messages at the bottom or not, whether or not you want the shortcuts, whether or not you want the lock icon. All this stuff up here um, can be done at this uh, particular app. Now you can also go back over here. And if you have always on display, right now I don't have it on, you can also do the same thing with your always on display. Same idea though, move everything, customize, where things live on the always on display. So that's Lockstar. Definitely, if you don't know about Lockstar, you wanna use it. And the last one is very much specific to the S23 Ultra. This one is Pentastic, which allows you to customize your S Pen. I talked about it a little bit in a previous video, but this app allows you to basically customize the look of your Air Command window. It allows you to customize the icon that the S Pen uses, etc. You can see I have a custom Air Command window 
which is the line air command window that I made in Pentastic. You can also get a custom pointer. I'm using the crocodile pointer, which my son really likes. You can customize your sound. You can even use a custom one that you've uploaded like a ringtone. And you can do a double tap shortcut so that when you hold the button and you double tap twice, it's gonna open your shortcut. I like to use Instagram personally. And so that's what I have it set to right now is Instagram when it opens. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these seven apps. Again, some of them third party, some of them are customization, some of them is productivity, um, but all of them are awesome apps to use on your Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, definitely check out my uh, paid app review program if you wanna help me review some apps. Make 25 to $100 depending on which app it is. Uh, if you sign up, I'll get in touch with people on a rolling basis um, and we can sort out the details. Appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.